Hi guys, so today we're gonna work on some hip issues and low back tension, and this is easy to do tips at, that you can do at home. You can grab a tennis ball, a trigger point ball, which has a little bit more of a point. Um, a lacrosse ball is certainly good as well. And this is, this. these are some exercises that you can do if you have chronic, tight, low back issues, um, no sharp shooting pains. If you're having sharp shooting, burning pains, then um, go, go talk to a professional. Um, so first, we're gonna get into the glutes. Well, we're gonna get into the piriformis. So there's a little muscle back here, and you just put your ball underneath, and you're just gonna move around, go slow, and you tr wait until you find the sweet spot where it is a hurt so good. Once you find it, you can roll over it a couple of times. You don't need to put too much pressure on it. You just want it to be just a moderate amount. And then when you find it, stay there, breathe, breathe slow, go slower than I'm doing it. And you can let your leg fall out to the side. You can do that a few times. You could also straighten the leg if you need to. Moving the leg around will guide you to a different pain threshold. Again, moving, moving around, you can move into circles. And we're also gonna take it up, getting up into some trigger points, right into the glutes. So right up at the tip or the top of your pelvis. And you just find some spots and you can lay back, lean onto it. And again, just roll it around until you find some spots that hurt so good. And you can stay with it. Breathe long, long, deep breaths. If you're digging into it really hard, like you would on a foam roller, if that's your tendency, that thinking that the harder you go, the better, back off, go soft, go slow, find a spot where you can tolerate it and that a spot that you can breathe with it. So you wanna have that breath aspect. That's almost one of the most important parts of this. That's gonna calm your nervous system down and it's gonna help your muscles relax. Hi guys, okay, so we're continuing with the hip, tight low back and hip series. So this one, if you're having some tension in the front, we wanna definitely direct, uh, give some attention to this area, uh, but also make sure you do, you work the whole hip in the leg. But right now, this, this exercise, you take your trigger point ball, your tennis ball, and we're gonna go ahead and find the hip flexor. We're gonna take it to the ground, and you just bring your weight onto it, the other leg, you'll see my other leg is out to the side, so I'm propped up. So I'm not putting all my weight on here. And again, I'm just gonna roll around until I find some spots that hurt so good. And when I find those spots, I can go ahead and just soften my body down. This might be too intense for some of you, so you can stay propped up. Otherwise, you can just work your way down gradually, breathing, big, long inhale. Let your exhales take you deeper. So softening into it. You can roll it around a little bit as you need. And stay here, you can stay in, in these positions. You can even roll around and stay in here for a good minute, maybe two minutes. Um, and see, just let your body do the work, let your breath take you to releasing some of that tension. And stay tuned. We're going to be showing a little bit more getting into the groin as well as the hamstrings to help out with back pain and hip issues. All right, thanks guys. All right, you guys, we're going to continue moving on getting into the groin and also into the hamstrings to help out with our hip and back pain. So grab your ball and you can either grab a yoga block or if you don't have that, just grab a stack of books. Uh, it's also helpful to have a towel over the books that helps keep the books from sliding all over the place. Um, and then from here, what I'm gonna do is take, I'm gonna start with the inner thigh or the groin. So you take that ball and we're gonna put it way, way, way up high, all the way. And again, you're just gonna have to move it around, find that spot. And once you find that spot, stay with it, breathe with it. For some of us, it's gonna be really intense. And if it's not too intense, just wait. Good. So you can roll around and again, breathe with it. Go slow, slower than I'm doing it. And then you gradually take it down the inner thigh. I'm just finding those spots. It can be helpful. See how I'm moving this leg to direct it. 
I might have to shift my body a little bit. Again, I'm moving it down. Take your time. I want you to go slower. And then gradually working it down even lower. Sometimes it gets pretty intense and right above the knee area, so super intense. Again, if you want, you can bend that knee and straighten it. And there's the sweet spot right there. I'm just gonna linger here. All right, so go slower. That's just for the inner thigh and the groin. We're gonna take it to the hamstring. So again, same thing. You have the option to use the block or no block for this. It's just a matter of finding that tension in the hamstring. So we're gonna take it all the way up and I'm gonna sit, practically sit on it, right where the, right where the hamstring meets the glute. So way, way up there. And just letting my weight of the leg sink down into the ball. You can shift right side to left side. It might feel like a really thick rope. Breathing into it. And then you just shift it down the leg, down the hamstring. You might have to move your block. You can move around in it, go into little small circles. You can feel the, the ball or the muscles rolling over the ball. Again, taking it all the way down. Find some spots that you didn't even know were painful. And again, you can certainly take it to the IT band as well. So from here, you can go, you can start all the way up high to reposition yourself. Go gentle with these. And then working it down, just finding some spots, sinking into it. I'm not putting all my weight on here. If I put on my, all of my weight on here, I'd be screaming right now. So I'm, I am supporting myself with my hands and this foot. And then I'm able, if you can see, I'm moving this bottom leg. If you can't do that or don't want to, just go light. Again, working it down. So that covers the inner thigh, the adductor muscles all the way down to the knee, the hamstrings, as well as the IT. You can certainly also do the same thing um, getting down. We're going to show you how to get down into the hip flexors and the quads. So we'll see you in a second. All right, you guys. So I already showed you the hip flexor, how to get into that area. Uh, we can also take it further. So you can take it all the way down the quad. So again, take your ball. Foam roller works with this as well but the, the ball gets a little more precise. Go ahead from there, you just follow that line of the hip flexor where you were feeling the tension and just go down just a little bit lower. And then from there, prop yourself up so the other leg is out to a figure four shape just to prep you. And then I'm curling my back toe under, you can see that. So when the curl, toe is curled under, I have more support. I can lift my knee up off of the floor and then I just roll forward. I may have to crawl forward with my forearms and again, I'm just finding those spots, breathing into it. And you can work that all the way down to closer to your knee. So again, you can move the ball or you can crawl yourself more forward. Oh, that feels so good. I hope this feels good for you too. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you some um, other modified versions for you. So. We'll see you in a sec. All right, you guys, so here's the modified version for uh, low back pain, hip pain, and e even getting up into your mid back pain. So you take your ball, you can go to a wall. When you go to the wall, it's a little more gentle. You can find spots at the hip. So I'm just, here's the top of my pelvis. So I'm just going down the meaty part. I'm just shifting into it, lean into the wall. You can do a little, a little, hip shimmy shake right in here. Do a little circle action. Turn on the music with it. Whoa! <laughs> you can also take the ball, take it up. We're gonna get into the low back right here. So there's a little groove. And again, you're just applying your weight to it. 
I'm not digging in. And this is why we do it on the wall. Um, sometimes if you take this to the floor, you can get a little too intense. And sometimes when you go too intense into the trigger points, it actually makes your muscles spasm. So using the wall is actually a good idea to start off. It's a slower, more gentle approach. I'm just staying here and just breathing with it. So just finding a sweet spot and breathe, release. Stay there for a couple of minutes, maybe not too long. Then you can also take the ball up. So you're gonna stay on just the outside of your spine, not on the spine itself. So again, find those, find those feel good trigger points. You may have to move around a little bit, do a little circling. You can bring it up the spine as well. If you can reach, maybe get it between the shoulder blades. And again, when you find those spots, just sinking into it, breathing full. And just stay with it. So a couple of minutes. Again, this is some great um, modified gentle therapy to help you heal your low back, your hip pain. So try these out at home. Take your time with them. Go much slower than I did. And do both sides. Make sure you do both sides. Even if, even if one side feels more in pain and the other doesn't, do both sides. You might surprise yourself. All right, good luck, you guys. We'll see you soon.